In this video, I will go over the nature of a DPS, what it means to harness the title of damage dealer. I believe the process of improving your game involves changing your mindset as well as other aspects, but it's often neglected. So my goal here is to rewire your brain so that you know how to do your job efficiently and not just shoot the first thing you see without considering the factors of a given situation. Become that DPS that everyone wants on their team. I want to begin with a short story. I used to know a player that dominated 1v1s. We would all try to beat this kid, one after another. Some would even get close, but he'd always win no matter what, and some of the ones he beat were master players. However, I would notice that in an actual match, payload, control point, capture point didn't matter. I would notice that he always went in alone and tried flanking quite a bit, even with heroes that weren't very ideal for it. As a result, he would get taken out many times to the point where he was actually not contributing to the team's effort at all. I bring this example up because the first thing you have to know about being a good DPS is that it's more than just having good aim. In my tanks video, I explain how it's a tank's job to create space for the DPS to work. So that means it's your job to utilize that space as much as you can. Of course, there are always exceptions, but when I started to follow this rule, my average elims went up noticeably. So position yourself where you can help the tanks out by taking advantage of the space they create. Next, you need to understand not to put needless damage on enemies. I mostly mean tanks. I've done this myself. You're just mindlessly shooting Reinhardt's shield with no clear goal, or shooting a D.Va's mech, but she has mercy with her. These are moments of needless damage that could be used elsewhere. In general, you want to go for the squishy heroes first. At lower ranks, many tanks don't fully understand what that means and they'll just position themselves where they leave their healers exposed or something. And your goal as a DPS is to create man advantage before they do. So go for the vulnerable squishy first. In fact, simply follow this rule. Only fire at a tank if they are out of position by themselves. Or you have to take them out to get to the rest of the enemy. And even then you should be with your team when doing this. Never take on a tank by yourself when they have help nearby because that's exactly what tanks want you to do, to focus on them and not their teammates. Finally, you need to understand if you want to be a good DPS, you have to avoid tunnel visioning. This is a general rule for everyone, but wanted to highlight for DPS especially since I feel it's the easiest to happen for them compared to other roles. What I mean by tunnel visioning is when you focus on taking out a single hero so much that you give up your positioning, such as high ground separate from your teammates, chase someone across the map, etc. You always want to try and shoot the same thing that the other DPS on your team are shooting. Hopefully they are also shooting in the space that the tanks have created. Just adopt the mindset of the helper rather than the leader. Sure, you can make callouts if no one is talking. I'm talking about something else though. Don't start an engagement and automatically assume that your team will follow up. There's a good chance they won't and you only have yourself to blame. It's better if you follow up on their engagements and become the helper. A good simple tip to follow is the 4 second rule. Every enemy you attack you have 4 seconds to take them out. If you don't take them out within that time, simply move on to the next target. Because it's a good indication that your team's firepower is elsewhere on the battlefield and could probably use your help. Sure there's going to be exceptions to this rule, but this is an easy tip to allow focus fire to occur organically without much communication required. It also helps you realize the value of at least leaving a target low on health. Sure, it's not ideal, but leaving a crucial target low and forcing them to retreat has some value. This is very noticeable when Soldier has trouble taking out an enemy Pharah, but is able to constantly leave her on low health, forcing her to retreat and not contributing to her team's efforts. So that is what I feel it takes to become a great DPS player. Understanding that aiming isn't even half of it, and not neglect things like good positioning and target priority. Hope this helped. If it did, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.